All right, well, we head to Texas now, where historic flooding still causing problems for parts of that state. We showed you the flooding in Dallas just 24 hours ago, more than 15 inches of rain, making for the second worst flooding in nearly a century. And as the cleanup effort continues, we do know a 60-year-old woman died when her car was swept away. Correspondent Marky Martin is live in Dallas. Marky, you were on the ground yesterday during some of that flash flooding. What does it look like today? Hey, Nicole, well, the Metroplex is now picking up the pieces. Uh, and I did want to add, too, we found out new information about that woman you just mentioned who died in yesterday's flooding. She was a 60-year-old woman who was swept away in those floodwaters. And, in fact, fire officials confirming she was actually on the phone with her husband when that took place. They eventually lost contact. Uh, other reports even saying she was an Uber driver who was just finishing uh, a route. So, of course, our thoughts with her family. But, Nicole, this area saw more than 15 inches of rain in less than 24 hours. And today, Governor Greg Abbott holding a press conference alongside the Dallas mayor, other city le leaders about today's aftermath. And, of course, we know this was a nightmare for drivers and for locals. But also what we're learning today is just how hard first responders were hit. You know, Dallas PD was already dangerously low on squad cars. They say 28 units were were either damaged or completely destroyed while they were responding to calls yesterday. This is going to have to force them to get creative to keep officers on the street. They're now going to have to double up, Nicole, ride together, even cut the line with manufacturers to get those new squad cars uh, here to Dallas at an even quicker rate. The fire department had eight cars damaged, and you can understand why after seeing all that video from yesterday. Today, the governor declaring 23 county state disaster areas and saying more could be on the way. Well, needless to say, the effect of this storm has been dramatic here in Dallas, in Fort Worth, uh, but across multiple regions around the state of Texas. And as a result, I'm about to sign a, a state disaster declaration. You've all seen the images and the videos, the water rising in people's homes and our businesses, flooded underpasses, submerged vehicles, knocked out traffic signals, delayed flights in and out of DFW that caused, you know, a national snarl on our transportation system. And the gover governor urging people in Texas families who were impacted by yesterday's storms to quickly report those damages as quickly as possible so that Texas can be eligible for those federal disaster funds. And, Nicole, the rain is still alive. It's still well. It's been pouring rain here on and off all day. It's also now raining in Mississippi as well as Alabama. Nicole. Yeah, that video from yesterday, Mark, just unbelievable. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.